Dee, there's a fault that you and I see an awful lot, particularly with newer golfers, where they get this strange kind of hooded wrist position at the top and it causes a low left shot, it causes you to miss hit, you won't get any height yeah. on your shots, you'll lose a lot of distance. It causes so much, doesn't it? Yeah. It's probably, without a doubt, the biggest fault for people getting into golf. That's and right. Even people who have been playing golf, it's the thing that causes the most inconsistency. That's right, that's right. And it's essentially caused, so if you start with your club face square to where you're heading, when you swing back, the club face should open up fairly naturally as you go back. Swinging on an arc, would Swinging you say? Swinging on an arc. Rather than trying to and, the ground. And yeah, and what causes this fancy, funny position is when people want to keep the club face pointing at the ball for as long as they possibly can, thinking incorrectly that if I keep my club face pointing at the ball, I'm going to be able to come back and connect. But unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. And there's another thing that causes this as well, isn't there, Dee? Yes, it's uh, especially for the beginner golfer, it's the incorrect grip. So they that's really tend, important. They tend to have the grip far too much up in their palm of their hand. So it's in the palm of their hand like this. And it feels very strong to them. But what it causes, it causes the wrist mm, action mm. to go sideways yes. rather than up and down. That's right. So, so you end up in that position. This position here with that oh. bowed wrist as opposed to this position here which is more correct. And this bowed position really, really injures your wrist as well. Yeah, it's, it's hard on your wrist. And as you come down, the club face is very shut and pointing left and you'll hit a lot of low left. So if you're someone that can't seem to get nice height on your shots, pitching, irons into the green, uh, this could be what you're doing. And the, the problem with it is too, when you come back down and as you say it's going low, well golf's a target game so all of a sudden you're going, oh that's going low so you start yeah, doing something yeah, to correct and yeah. you stop it and it still goes low. Top it or you overcompensate and hit it way right so you get left one shot right the next you're kind of all over the place. I know, it's really it's a killer. It's a killer and it's so important you can you know you get the concept that Danny was talking about you get a, a better grip making sure get it's a placed. better grip. We've done a video on those on the mm -hmm, grip so mm -hmm. they can have a look people can have a look at yeah. that but it's so important. So you essentially have. your grip has to be correct and then a little way to check as you're taking the club back is that roughly speaking the lines here on the club face those lines there are pointing up to the sky so in this sort of halfway back position where the club's parallel to the ground the lines are going to be fairly up to the sky you don't want, you don't want them that cross like that that's right if I keep going now there's my wrist now if my lines are up like this if I keep going now there's my correct wrist position. So if you find you've got the low lefts and you're all over the place, check the lines are to the sky when the club is parallel to the ground. Before you do that, make sure your grip is pretty right. Yeah, and I think one of the things I've noticed people are all saying, but Dustin Johnson is like this at the top yes. of the swing. And he is, but not and quite as bad as no, that. not quite as bad as that. But yeah. the reason that he is that way is because um, this is a bit complicated, but biomechanically, he's very much an under-golfer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's very much underneath, and he's also, for, he's, uh, biomechanics have that he drops the club back lower. Mm. So you can see here, if I set up and my hand's underneath, and as I swing back, can you see how mm, my hand mm, stays underneath mm. and it's going to be flatter? Yeah. And then he drops it back and down. And he has to drop it right down because it's going to go left otherwise, yeah. so he drops it in here to overcome and, that. And he is a super athlete. Very and strong. And from this position, he has Stop. unbelievable he lower body rotation. Has to rotate massively to compensate and for it. he's a total athlete. Yeah. Was number one player in the world. Yeah. So it's not for the majority of you because mm. he does it, it suits him. And when we say he does it. He, he, he doesn't really. He doesn't do it like he that. Doesn't. He's just a he little does it bit. This, yeah. Because yeah. of his right hand. That's right. So if you see Dustin, you go, well, he bows his wrist. He really doesn't in the same way that we're talking about. Exactly. So, so yep. keep an eye on that. It's yep. really going to help you become more consistent. Yep. Yeah, you get much more higher, yep. um, better flighted shots, you'll connect more consistently and your direction will be way yeah. better. So just check on that. Check the lines on your club as you go back. 
I would say, wouldn't you, Dee, that the number one by far biggest problem and biggest fault we see with people with chipping around the green is the scoop yes, or the flick, isn't it? it being it's around just the green. Through and it'll cost, it'll cause being you to around scull the green it over the back. Just movement you through and the junk on the other side. <laughs> being yeah, around behind. the green yeah. is hit behind Make it, it go hit too high too and not high. run. Can't judge distance behind So we have to go too high and judge distance. Find your white, find your white, so we're just going to grab it out of here. Trainer, so we're just find so your white, simple and easy to use. It's literally and just a couple of sticks joined white, at the end, and, and all show us how you use it. So, so, so end. find your number white, one, you put it under your armpit. Then put your club on top. Yeah. Find put your, your club on top it. and the bottom of the, the grip. grip and grip it underneath. That's it. That's and how easy it is. And show us how it works. Dude. And now all you're going to do is you're just swinging back, keeping it inside swinging back, that Y, keeping it inside and through, that. keeping the Y. And what it does is really forces you into this fantastic Y that. shape. We've called it find your Y because that's what people keeping can't it inside do. They can't that. find the Y. They so get back. all flicky. And if you want keeping to make it, it a little bit more stable, like this. That's yep. right. You can actually even loop loop the loop around the bottom to make it a little bit more stable yep. if you want to, but you don't have to. You don't have to. I'm not here. But we don't want that. That's right. Have we want to, to eliminate the wrist out of the chipping. There. So None good. Of this. So it's staying in your hands. Stay your inside hands, the Y for the Stay right. inside the Y. And then the you y. can even use it for putting as well. Let's, well, let's show, show you how, you how to use it for putting. Again, really simple. I'll have a go this time. You have a go just Pop to show how easy it is. Under your armpits. And we put the club on top and the hands underneath. And get it just under the grip there. So we might just move it up just a fraction so That's it's it. under the grip. And then you can see it really gives you the feeling of the correct motion. We don't want hands yeah. and wrists in putting. Keep see how everything. it just keeps, everything just keeps moving along here. There's no flicking. That's right. It's almost like we it's were almost talking the other like day about the end of the club and the putter working together. It's That's almost right. like traveling buddies. Yeah. They work together. You don't want the club head That's right. to leave the buddy That's right. here behind. And what I think is so brilliant about this is what it gives you so feeling. brilliant about this. Absolutely. So many people go, well, I, I don't even know what to have. Well, well, I, I don't what even know what does it feel like not to scoop or not to flick. Well, this gives you the feeling. Yeah. Well, and what I, I love I don't about even know it, as we just said, it is so simple to use. You can even hit golf balls with it if you want. Yes. So, but yes. It's fantastic. So the Find Your Why Chipping and putting trainer available now from Pro Golf Gals, our first ever training aid. We're very where, excited. Where do we find training it? Training aid. We're very where, excited where on our website. Perfect. Yep. Or the link below. Excellent.